saying as much when Sam Presti sat down and wrote you Thunder fans a long letter about your bad, bad misfortune, said the team will live on, urged you to be strong. Wrote all of this in an editorial in the Oklahoman. Right or wrong, it's his cross to bear. Comes with a job. So does explaining Paul George's exit. I know that he had, he had, he had used the term mutual. Um, I, I, you know, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that because that would infer that we, we were wanting to, to trade Paul George, which I think most people would agree that that probably wasn't on, on the top of our off-season priority list. Um, but I would say that it was not adversarial at all. When there's something like that taking shape with the franchise, um, I think you sit down and I think it's, it's a good conversation to have, especially with someone like Russell who has the tenure here. And especially what we've seen in the NBA just this summer. I mean, basically the all-star team just changed jerseys, you know? Um, and so uh, you're gonna have that conversation with him. Again, I would say the same thing. Um, how do we make it work for everybody? In case you've been at the Strawberry Lodge and Sitka fishing, here's what you missed. The Russell Westbrook-Chris Paul trade capped off perhaps the craziest NBA offseason ever, and all eight All-Stars from last season changed teams, the most in a single offseason in league history. The list headlined by two-time finals MVPs Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard, along with Westbrook, Paul George, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis, D'Angelo Russell, and Kemba Walker. All right, so after all the changes, all the switching teams, what does it mean?